What's up you guys, your girl Sonicole Nicole and I'm back with another video and before I get started, I do want to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, all my returning subscribers. If you're watching this video and you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then also hit that notification bell so that way you know every time that I upload. What is up everybody? I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you guys are comfy and cozy like I am. I am wearing my new Victoria's Secret pajama. I'll enter a picture here. I love this pajama. It's so cute. It's a onesie. I didn't post a haul about it because I literally only bought like this two underwear that were $2.99 and then I bought my, ooh, my pair of glace. With the overwhelming amount of content of Sephora sale videos, I feel broke. Like I really do because I see all the things that people are buying and I'm looking up the price and I'm like, mm -mm. and to me, I get 15% off. And the only reason why I've reached VIB and I'm not sure how much you have to spend to be a VIB, but I, I buy little things here and there. But I also will buy people like gift cards um, for like birthdays and stuff like that. So that's probably why I've reached that tier. And I'm not sure if I'm going to ever reach that tier again. But watching people's videos, people that are rouge, I was rouge once, I think. Maybe for one year, maybe two years. And it's because I was like into eyeshadow packets, eyeshadow palettes, stuff like that. So here on my little corner of YouTube, I wanted to show you guys my little haul and it's not sephora but i put it in a sephora bag just to get that vibe just to like hype up my life a little bit um romanticize my life so here is the bag and it's so full do you know if you went to sephora how much stuff or how much money you would spend to get a bag like this and they would obviously give you a bigger bag but can you imagine you was you would spend a lot of money so this and this is stuff that I bought over time. I'm going to show you guys what I got. So you guys already seen the bag. It feels so good today. I took a nice shower, exfoliated, moisturized. I am all moisturized all over. I put on my little fragrance up. This is my scent of the day. It is a vacation vibe with pistachio um, and amber just so that way I could just feel like, it's just some things that you do to just feel really, really good. I painted my nails. This is OPI, I forgot the color, but anyways, I've been having a real girly, cozy, comfy day today. Like, I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea after this. I've just been feeling really good, okay? So, now, let's show you what's in this bag. So the things that are at the top, I'm gonna show you that. The first thing that I got, is the Pop Sugar Bath Oil Beads. Hydrate and Soothe. Uh, this is in lavender and vanilla, and they give you quite a few in them. So I do remember seeing these at like Walmart and stuff like that, and now it's at Dollar Tree. So I did get this one, and basically it says directions for use. While the bath water is still running, add your bath beads to the tub and add two to three beads for a bath. So um at first i didn't really want to use like bath bombs and stuff like that because i'm like i don't have the bathtub that i want but honey i'm about to romanticize my life and in doing so i'm gonna be taking bubble baths just bleach the hell out of your tub i'm like i'm too big for my tub no i'm gonna be taking bubble baths until i get the tub that i want so yeah, and I, I, I was doing that already. I think it's because I've seen like other stuff, like other people with their nice tubs. And I'm like, I want a nice tub. But girl, we're going to use what we have until we get what we want. So this, much, much needed. Next thing that I have is this liquid blush and soft pink. This is in the Ioni brand. And I don't really like it. Um, Like, it's not made for my complexion. But I was like, you know what? When I put on like my brown matte lip, I'll just put this in the middle. So like it goes on pretty cute. But when you try and blend it in, I don't really like it. So see, I have the box. The box says that it's buildable. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. But the fact that I would have to probably add more, I'm just gonna probably do like a little lip look. The thing that I got is the Boba Milk Tea Lip Gloss. I wanted to try one. I have tons of lip gloss. Right now I'm currently using um, my Juvia's Place lip oil. But I wanted to try this. It's so cute. And it has the little bubbles on the bottom. So I thought that that would be so cute 
to try on and this is in strawberry flavor i think they have blueberry and chocolate i only got one because i don't need to try every single last one so next thing that i got is this lip sugar scrub in peach and honey this is in the global beauty care and it's for soft and smooth lips i love me a lip scrub i literally just exfoliated my lips exfoliated my lips the other day i love that so i thought that this was like super cute and i really like the little jar and like i said it is 125 it is a little plastic jar not glass and that is what it looks like you probably can't really get you can see it like that next thing that i got is this uh glitter shadow and this is in purple i really like the way it looked so it's like a really glittery like i don't know it just looks really really good so i definitely picked that up and it was like i said just a dollar 25 and i haven't seen any ioni like eyeshadows maybe not any that like really intrigued me this is what the packaging looks like and then i'm gonna open it up it's cute you know it has a little hot air balloon and stuff and i'm just gonna swatch it let me see how much i gotta swatch I'll put it right here okay i don't know I feel like you'd have to definitely build up in order to get what that girl got. Yep, it's definitely buildable. But I still feel like it's cute. It's not a Mac, I, it's not like a Mac thing, but it's definitely something that I would use, obviously with something else and just like pack it on the lid. So, eh, it's cute. Next thing that I got is this uh, Lee Mercy um hd camera ready finishing powder i did want to try a purse powder tower 28 came out with their purse powder and i seen a view, review on it and it was so nice but i'm not spending that much on a press powder so i was like let me just try this one pray for me cross your fingers i hope it goes good next thing that i got is the pop sugar bath oils um and this one is in eucalyptus so i can't wait to use this one and they were $1.25. I think they're normally like six. So like I said, they were $1.25. This is normally like $6. And today I will be taking a bubble bath because it is very much so needed. Next thing that I got is this pumpkin seed vitamin C exfoliating foot scrub with pumpkin seed vitamin C and hydrating heel cream. So usually after you do your little foot stuff, you put this on with some socks and it'll help to absorb the lotion into your feet so i thought it was cute that they had this next thing was this hyaluronic acid one shot mask so love my masks love my masks and then this one looks like it looks like a gift set so oh it's obviously a gift set this one is a mask gift set with two sheet masks and this is the peach bellini and pomegranate punch and so i got that they also have like a body wash with bath salts and then like a body scrub i think but i just got one thing i didn't need all of them so yeah next thing that i got is the glow body oil and this is in the spa spa the carry and it's with argan shea and coconut oils and this i don't know i think i'm just gonna end up putting this like in my bubble baths and i think that'll be good but i just didn't like the consistency it's not really like an oily it kind of uh, mix it in with the mm, it's kind of like a soapy kind of thing so definitely gonna get my money so I'm definitely gonna use these things even though this one kind of disappointed me but um it's not really like a glow body oil I don't really like it like that um this is like a glow body oil this I don't know I don't really like it it no it gives you like a little bit of a shine Nothing too crazy though. Next thing that I got is this black charcoal double bubble cleanser. And this is a two in one, it's a cleanser and a mask. So um, it shows on here the before, which is the gel, and then the after, which is the foaming. So um, yeah, and this is 6.76 fluid ounces. And I love a charcoal mask, charcoal scrub. So I was excited when I saw this, had to pick it up. The next thing that I got are these Freeman masks. Every time I see a Freeman mask, I gotta get it because I like Freeman masks. And this is the Hawaiian black salt. So this one comes with an exfoliating pad and then it comes with a sheet mask. So this is to exfoliate and then this is to clean your face. And so I got four of those um, for about $2.50. So not bad at all. 
And the last thing that I got was this two pack of lighters because always gotta light a candle. I'm lighting a candle now. I light a candle in my bathroom. So, and I'm always running out of lighters. All right, so that was everything. That was a lot of stuff, but I'm so glad I got to share those things with you guys. I'm so excited to be able to start using these products because I've been holding on to them just so that way I could do a haul for you guys. And this is like a few trips accumulated. So I, I got some good stuff, okay? Comment down below, let me know if you still shop at Dollar Tree. If Dollar Tree for you is just Sephora VIB because for me, it is because I don't go all out for Sephora VIB. For me, I get 15% off. And to me, that's kind of like tax. Like you get the tax. So I don't know. And I have a whole bunch of products to enjoy. So I will not be doing the Sephora VIB sale. But thank you guys again so much for watching. My name is Chanel Nicole. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.